It's 6.04 a.m. Now to this. The school year started off with some school threats. It's happening here, and it's happening all across the country. Our Jacob Brooks is live outside of McDowell High School this morning. There was a threat there earlier this month. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Tracy. Yes, there was, and a minor was charged in that case for making terroristic threats after a threat was found here inside McDowell High School earlier in September. And earlier this month, we also reported on threats made against City of Erie schools and Catholic schools as well. And there are threats in schools across the country, from Pittsburgh to Ohio to Tennessee. Police, uh, including Mill Creek Police, say these threats are not new. Often they'll come in waves, like if there's a trend online. Uh, the Mill Creek Police said if they get word of a threat like there was here at McDowell, they will investigate to make sure uh, to determine whether or not it is credible. And they will also get other agencies involved as well. Now, Corporal Mikowski with the Mill Creek Police Department says there is obviously a huge difference between whether someone is making the, this threat as a joke or if it's something more serious. And if it could be something more serious, he said there are some signs you need to watch out for from a, a child. You know, withdrawing from family activities, um, not hanging out or speaking with their friends as they normally would, um, maybe missing school or having issues at school. And he thinks the isolation from during the COVID pandemic might be contributing to some of these issues. He'll explain why coming up at 630. I'm Jacob Brooks, Erie News Now.